what's up y'all today's video i got little hawk with me so let me show you guys little hawk right here i see it it's a little rough around the edges but we're gonna get it done but today's video is about vtech uh last time I drove the car that I did like the POV type style. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the VTEC wasn't working. Um, I noticed that the car felt lazy and the speedometer never worked ever since I bought the, the car. So there's many things that could go wrong with it. But when we get to the end of this video, I'll be showing you guys how I fixed the VTEC and how it's working now. But let me show you guys in the engine bay real quick because I also put like a little cheap intake just to get rid of the ugly uh the ugly plastic one so show you guys put this little intake there for now nothing crazy eventually i'll probably do a custom one that'll come down i'll move the radiator over and have like a, a v stack behind the bumper but what do you guys think look pretty cool cleaned up the engine bay a little bit but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take you guys on a drive and uh close this hood up i'm gonna take you guys on a drive so you guys can see when um the vtech actually kicks in pay attention to the rpm gauge it's usually kicking in like around 4500 rpm so let's go for, for a drive i'm gonna jump on the highway i'm gonna let you guys see what's going on i'll see you in a little bit So we jumping on the highway now and uh, I'm going to show you guys how good the, the, the car is working with the VTEC. So before it was, it was, it was so sluggish. So now it's working a little bit better. Let's get into the highway here. I'm not power shifting, I'm flash shifting just because I, I don't want to beat on the car. So. I'll do a slight pull here in first so you guys can see. All right, pay attention to 4500. Right there. Just so much traffic everywhere. Can't get a decent pull. Before it was so lazy, I was like, I, I, I couldn't believe it. And I figured it was just the speedometer that's not working but it wasn't that the speedometer actually don't work so that's a problem that i have for sure the speedometer on the cluster so but i think you could switch that you just get another cluster and either swap out the speedometer or just swap out the whole cluster as a whole it might be a better idea to swap out the whole cluster because this is an automatic cluster i like to put a, a manual cluster on all right so we back we off the highway now and as you guys can see VTEC was working perfectly now it turned the car into a whole different other car so it's just sometimes little things like that they just make they make the difference so just always make sure you check everything out here in my hand i have the solution to the VTEC problem and i'm gonna show you guys right now it was this little guy right here. For some reason, on these Civics, this uh, plug for the speed sensor, this is actually a, a, the plug from the harness that goes into the speed sensor on the tranny. This plug right here, sometimes they get corroded inside. Like the, You see there's like three little terminals. Sometimes it gets corroded, sometimes the wire 
it's a little loose inside and it's not making good contact so I actually went and bought a whole new plug it was about 20 bucks or something like that for one of these little plugs here they actually sell them aftermarket or you could get them from another um, Honda Civic harness and that's all it took to fix the VTEC problem I'm gonna show you guys now what I did I put it on temporarily I'll be trying to uh, solder the wires in and all that I just wanted to put it on to see if that was really the problem with the VTEC so I'm gonna show you guys right now so actually right down here is the speed sensor which goes into the transmission is right under the intake here what I did was I bought that new plug and the plug comes uh, with its own wires so I basically chopped the harness I cut the harness here and I uh, crimped each wire in its corresponding uh, spot with the plug you see it's a lot longer I'll, I'll be cutting this down and actually soldering the wires one by one but I did this just to test to see if this is really the problem with the VTEC so you could do the same thing buy the plug and uh, splice the wires you could also deep pin it and do it like that but I just chose to do it this way you know there's a lot cleaner ways you could do it I just wanted to test it out so I did it like this real quick just to see if that was really the, the issue but I'll be cutting those wires and actually um, soldering them together and that was it. Uh, the VTEC is opening up because the computer is actually reading the right signal from the speed sensor. The only issue is, is that my speedometer doesn't work now. So it never worked since I bought the car. So that's another issue I have to address. But as far as the car functioning correctly, it's working 100%. But I got another little surprise for you guys. Um, let me show you guys. Let me open the trunk and I'll show you guys what it is. But as far as for the VTEC, that was that was the fix right there. But I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do now. I'm actually going to my boy's Adam um, garage, and remember that bit I told you on the last vlog with the abandoned RX-7 that I was looking for a bit to port something. Well, I got a Skunk 2 manifold for this car, and I also have. A skunk two. Oh, where is it? A skunk two seventy millimeter uh, throttle body for it. So, in order for that throttle body to go on here and actually work properly, the the mouth of the throttle body is slightly bigger. Well, it's a lot bigger than the intake hole here. So, what I'll be doing is I'll be porting out all of this. And getting this uh, diameter to the same size as the throttle body. So I'm pulling up to my boy Adam's garage and uh, we're gonna try to port this out and get it to match the throttle body. I'll show you in a little bit. We're here at Adam's now, so show you. Hold on, let me show you something real quick. Y'all remember this one, right? From the last video, this is the abandoned R server. We're still trying to look for a tank, so. As soon as we get the fuel, uh, fuel uh, tank with the fuel pump hanger on it, we're putting it on this, and this is going to start right up. We already know. We already experienced that with the spray bottle. Got my boy Adam. What up, Adam? What's going on, what up, boy? Chilling? Yeah, same on. Look, I got the lights already, too. Oh, you bought the lights for it? Yeah, yeah, I got the lights already. Oh, he got the lights here. He's not playing games. Adam's not playing games. But let me show y'all this. This is the big boy right here. My boy took it to finish up. He got a little base map on it on E85 for now because uh, his tuner's in Puerto Rico. So as soon as his tuner comes from Puerto Rico, this is getting tuned full blast. But it's running, it's turning on. I'm going to see if Adam turn it on for you guys real quick. So it's back. Look at these, look at these tires right here. Oh my God. You got some more over there too. I don't think they can smell it through the, through the camera though. They can't smell the E85. That 85 smell, ooh, so good. But how you turn it on? Turn it on for them so they can see it turn on right here. He just finished doing like a little alignment by eye. So, because the wheels is all crooked. But. Turn on. It has full exhaust, so 
I'm waiting for no uh, race car sound, but it sounds real decent. Hit it. Y'all hear that pump. Guys, think comment below what y'all think, how it sounded, how it looks. Y'all see that downpipe? Oh my god. But uh, I wish you guys could smell the smell of this E85. Nice, smells amazing. So but back to what we're here to do, so <laughs> show you guys. So I got the intake here for a little hook. That's a little hook right there, uh-huh. So, we got the intake here, and I actually got the bit, which I ordered, I couldn't find anywhere. So this bit right here, this is what's gonna port, or eat the aluminum right here. So we'll run it all across here, using a drill, until we eat up to the line, or the scribe that I made. So we're gonna try to eat this all up, and make sure we get it to the same size as the throttle body. So, let me get y'all set up and probably hit y'all with a little time lapse. So, see y'all in a little bit. I just finished porting the intake. Oh my God, that was, I hate doing that. But I got it, I could say like 90, 95% done. I did it like in a cone fashion. So I don't know, I'm just testing out. Maybe it creates a little bit more velocity, but I'm gonna show you the finished product right now. So it looks weird because I try to like put the wire brush and it kind of like polished it a little bit just to create the air a little bit more smooth. So. It's a little rough, but you should get the job done. It's just the same size like the throttle body, so the air should theoretically go in here and speed in. And the faster the air goes in, the more power you can make. So it's just a small little mod you can do to try to get some better airflow going in. It looks like this because of the, the shine on it. So it, it, it looks like, like black shadows on the camera, but in person, it's all nice and smooth. So, let's see, let's put this throttle body on. I'm gonna put the gasket and I'm gonna put the throttle body on. When you put in a throttle body on, always make sure, put thread lock on the, on the four screws of the throttle body, because you don't want them backing out. So, each screw uses a uh, thread lock. So, with a little bit of YouTube magic, we're gonna put that throttle body on right now. So here we got it, Th throttle body's on. Scratch this up a little bit here, but I'll touch it up with some paint. It's fine. Not a big deal. But now the throttle body's on. Bolt it up. Uh, gasket on. And like I said, always make sure you thread lock uh, the, the bolts when you do these throttle bodies. Now let me show you when it opens up. I don't know if you can see down there. Hold it open real quick. I'm going to add them. Hold it open real quick. Let's see if I can... Pick up the lighting. You guys see it? It's uh, somewhat a smooth transition. It looks like it's not transitioning, but it actually transitions like in a cone, in a cone manner. So it goes from the opening and a little bit, and it, it, it closes up a little bit in the back because I did it in a cone fashion, but it should make the air flow faster there. So 
That's about it. Uh, intake's done. Throttle body's on, 70 millimeter. I'll leave the install for another day for you guys. Make sure you guys uh, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for another vlog. Uh, I love every one of y'all. Turn on your bell notifications. Like that, you notified every time I drop a video. So I'm a little tired right now. So I'm going to let you guys go. Love all of y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll say it again. Let's go. It's Chopper. Out of here.